All right, everybody, let's remove some of this butter wet wax so I can get to work. Gotta go sharpen some hockey skates and snowboard, sell snowboards and golf and you name it. It comes off super easy. So we just put a little protection down. Black light earlier and now this is a wet wax and it's coming off really easily using low ply, small ply microfiber towel which are basically are disposable. Comes off with little to no effort. Leave some protection on this beautiful black paint. I feel like detailing is a daily job. You should really enjoy it. And it's going to be something you're going to want to do. You're going to want to enjoy spending time with your car. It's like a loved one that just always requires a little more attention. And if you care enough and you want to do it, it's going to come out great. But if you expect to get months of results out of something, I'm sadly mistaken. I feel like it's not going to happen. You're just going to have to stay up on it. But when you do these steps, the results are amazing. And you get lots of compliments. So I just wanted to film this, kind of show people how easy it is. I'm gonna go back over, of course. Always using fresh towels. Flip them over. But again, these towels are basically disposable. Also rocking gloves, which I wear for mountain biking, but also are nice when gripping carbon fiber steering wheels. So, I'm wearing a Yeti glove called the Turk glove, T U. RQ, it's like their Turk composite frames, which I have for a mountain bike currently. And you'll take the wax off, go through it a couple times. I'm actually kind of digging these cheap blue towels, but you can see the results already. Check this out. I mean, it's coming off nice. Bang. But after you get everything off, definitely go back through, double check, stand back and look. But I've got you guys watching as I remove this coat of wax. I'm just gonna keep running back for a fresh towel this time. Why not? I've got a million. These blue guys actually aren't too bad, these little blue guys. Grab two, bang. And you just kind of pull sides low nap. It wants to grip and remove grip and rip, baby, like we say in the golf game. I can use little detail brushes to get the wax out of the crevices. Right now I'm just removing the majority of the wax before finally giving it a wipe down. And like always, guys, you're moving in linear motions, not circles. Straight lines, for those of you that skipped that class. I'm talking linear, dog. Yeah, but the results are quick. You see how easy this comes off. I still have to get inside the doors. But basically, I just wanted to show everybody how quick and easy it came off. I did film myself applying it one-handed and also filmed myself throwing a coat of glaze which would have been black light glaze stoked about that I did not film the v07 polish I just used that as like a detail spray when I woke up this morning and kind of just knocked the dust off with that so 
got buried, buried under black light. But V07 is good stuff, as well as that green synthetic wax, which I'll show you guys I've found to like as a detail spray. But I'm not partial to any one brand. I really happy to use whatever is clever, as long as it's solid. Such as Griot's Garage. It's been Meguiar's has been good. This is not a pay paid advertisement by any means. This is just me in the morning cleaning up the alpha for another day. I find it relaxing. And you get actual results, which is sweet. Now I'm starting to get down to it. I would say I'm rushing because I'm filming and I have to get to work but it also shows how you can do this outside quickly and get it done not have to worry just do it Nike make your ride look gorgeous and popping save yourself some money by doing it yourself maybe start yourself a business detailing a lot of money in it. All you need is a little knowledge and some supplies which are very available. It just buffs off and there she is shining. See the trunk. The splitter. And see the side where I'm working, the side where I have not. Almost grab one fresh cloth. I'm gonna just get the heavy stuff off and then come through with the new cloth for the final buffing process. And this thing's gonna be a wrap. Get a freshie. Let's run it through. This one, these are done, so done, throw them away. Double fresh little blue guy. Yeah, so that's basically it. I'm just gonna go through, buff it off. Like I always try to say, try to find cars that say made in Italy. I recommend it and have fun, but whatever you got, it's, as long as you love it, it's what's up. I love my old Honda Accord. Bring that thing back to life. That thing's fun, fun little go-kart. 96 Accord, lowered. You know, full disc brake, dual wishbone suspension. Lots of fun. Adjustable coilovers. The Accord has full DC sports header, high flow cat, all that good stuff. So whatever you got, just as long as you take care of it, it's kind of going to take care of you. That's what you put into it, I guess. And with that, I'm going to call it a video. Just hope that you guys can see some of these results. Gonna have to still buff off and run through it one more time, but man, she's looking good. Wearing the gloves helps get keep chemicals from getting in your hands, and a glove like this can also polish or get the wax off rather than using your hands and getting fingerprints all over everything, so gloves are a good idea for sure.